Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the North 40. I'm Rick. And I'm Brittany, and it's insulation day. Woo! We are finally moving to the inside of the cabin. So join us this week and see what we can accomplish. We're going to do a lot more than just insulation. I got all the expansion foam around all my gaps. I just went around all the bird block, all four sides, and caulked everything in or foamed it in front and back. So now that that's in, we're gonna knock out the insulation. Ready to go. So I don't inhale a bunch of fiberglass. Back number one. So let me go ahead and start my staples. Way better staple gun than what I had before for those of you that saw the earlier episodes. I had a one that sucked from Harbor Freight and I got what I paid for, a piece of junk. This is not that way. This part's not the straightest line because my caulking job was terrible. Um, I told you not to judge my caulking job and my paint jobs, but maybe from far away it will look really good. <laughs> Anyways. Well, you're doing a meticulous job. With my little itty bitty paintbrush that Rick's upset I'm using because it's taking so long. But if I had a bigger one, it would look even more crooked, so. I think he'll appreciate this in the long run. How's your breathing? My breath stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me how bad my breath smells. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go do my least favorite thing in the whole entire world, painting the cabin. I went ahead and cut that box back. It was 48 by 48, four foot by four foot. I cut it six inches back towards the hill. So we have a bigger platform down here to step down to. And it was just a little too high on this downhill side. So I cut it two inches down. Uh, rip that down two inches and then re-screwed it and then I'm gonna get gravel on that top surface And I went ahead and dug back for our next box. I'm gonna do a four foot by four foot there You can see we got a pretty good drop there I'll backfill that do a step up and then I'll clean that hill out and then on the way up the hill I'm just gonna probably do some two by six pressure treated on the downhill side stake it with rebar and just backfill it three four steps going up until we get under the canopy. That'll give a nice erosion prevention and a nice step down trail. You gotta get a couple more landscaping stones. I'm gonna get one more if I can get of those style there. And then one more of those just to go where that shovel is. And that'll create a nice surface there. Somebody found themselves a dog bed right in the dirt. Love it. That's why my house is so dirty.
look what we got. Hardware on. We had to re-level the door because it wasn't fitting. Uh, the lock wasn't fitting. So we're just gonna do trim that matches our window trim and our corner trim. So it would actually look even more uniform and better, I think. So let's see if this works. Now we're gonna suck. Will you hand me the header, please? You know, thanks audience for watching and sticking with us. Cause I've seen our videos and I see my ugly faces when I'm doing things like running a nail gun in my grunts. So God bless you for putting up with my facial expressions and grunting, <laughs> but I get it done the second and third time. <laughs> so Brittany probably already told you, went to put the hardware on yesterday, had the door installed a week plus ago. Nothing lined up. The thing was completely out of plumb and level. Anyway, I got so ticked, I had to cut all the expansion foam out, break off the molding. This was a, a pre-hung door with its own molding. It was garbage molding anyway. Had to break that off and our seal a caulk on the outside, pull the whole door out. And the caulking under the threshold was still moist, so I got caulking all over the deck when I pulled it out. Either way, that'll work its way off. So I had to rehang the door, and thank goodness, everything is straight, plumb and level. And actually, I'm glad it had, we had to go through that because we re-trimmed this with the same trim that we've done everywhere else. It just kind of looked half, halfway done. It didn't match. So I just nailed it in. It's nice and tight. We're gonna caulk the nail holes in our edges. And Brittany's gonna go and do our touch-up paint. And this door will be actually done. Love this door color Brittany chose. Love, love it, love, love, love it. <laughs> serious bead of caulk up here because this is where moisture will splash up back from the edge of that porch roof and then sit on top of this ledge well if I don't have a good bead of caulk especially on that side of the door frame uh, the water will sit on top and rot through or get behind here and that's what we don't want now that looks right that's that the looks same good. trim it looks good it looks high-end stuff will expand even more and dry hard and then we'll just trim it away from the edge with a putty knife and a razor knife. 